you are in the right place if you're searching for searching for ACF data with WP Engine Smart Search. Um, just to cover some quick etiquette for the workshop today, we are recording. So if you want your camera off uh, to actually the cameras aren't, we don't need to say that because the, the cameras aren't in our final recording. So, <laughs> but yeah, feel free to have your camera off. Um, the recording will be available on our YouTube channel for playback. Uh, hopefully you can subscribe over there for notifications, WP Engine Builders. Um, be kind to one, one another in the chat and feel free to drop questions as we go along and we'll try to stop periodically and answer anything. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I have for the etiquette. I'm gonna go to the next slide here. So WP Engine Smart Search is an add-on for WP Engine customers that is designed to improve searches for both traditional and headless WordPress applications. Um, it is an advanced search solution that's designed to increase search result relevance through content prioritizing and weighting, support advanced search query operators like and, or, and not, um, and add support for advanced WordPress data types. Um, so it takes over the default WordPress search functionality and um, it enables various configuration options and is compatible with popular plugins such as ACF. All right, thanks, Grace. Um, just a little overview of what the demo we're gonna use today um, to show the search uh, functionality. Uh, we're going with the Taylor Swift theme. Um, we're calling it Swift Search. We have a demo site, which I'll show in a minute, but I just kind of wanted to show how some of the, the data is architected. We're using ACF for the post types. Um, we're gonna have albums and songs of Taylor Swift. And then under albums, we have ACF post meta associated for track listing. And we'll, out, we'll go ahead and show um, just adding a label uh, information, actually. Um, we'll do that uh, as part of the demo. And then for the songs, we have lyrics associated with it. And then the album, which is actually a relationship field between uh, the track list and the associated album. So um, let's see. Yeah, we will get back. We'll get back to this one, but I'm going to jump over into the site, I think, at this point and uh, start bouncing around. But. All right, we're going to step through first on how we would set up a WP Engine Smart Search on a instance in WP Engine portal. Um, here is our smart search site. And in order to associate a license with a site, we can just hop over here into the add-ons in the portal. And we're gonna go to manage. And we have our sites. I'm just gonna move my zoom bar over here. And we're gonna add in an environment. And I'm just gonna come down to find the Swift 1982 site. Click that add environment and then here's a little nice handy wizard which tells you what's going to happen it's just going to install the plugin and um and then we can do our first sync and we get a little status indicator over here in the portal while that runs we'll give that a second and while it's running um i'm going to show i want to show the site as it exists without the plugin and without the sync um, just to give you a lay of the land. Uh, so this is Swift search. Um, this is the home page. We just have a search bar ready to go. Um, we have our albums, Taylor Swift albums listed out here. Um, if you click into an album, we have a track list and you can tr click into each track and see the lyrics for that track. And this is a ACF post meta field for lyrics. And this is the associated album, so we can go back and again click through all these tracks. Um, to go back to the album's archive template here, um, we also have a category for albums, which is uh, her re-recorded albums, and then this the original studio album, so we can sort by that as well. 
And I'll show how a lot of this is set up in a second, um, but I just wanted to give you a quick lay of the land. And if we show the, the default out of the box WordPress search uh, based on the content that we have, um, I just want to show kind of some of the results that we get. Um, so let's search for scarf. And that is zero, nil. And how about, let's see, warning. Um, yeah, no results, which is not ideal because both of those, if anybody knows Taylor Swift, uh, those are those are in several, I think, uh, spots for lyrics. Um, but if we can go back to, let's see, let's search for, we should get an album, yeah. So this is an actual album title. So we do get some results for that. Um, using WordPress's native search. Um, but yeah, it's not ideal to something like Scarf. That's pretty common in Taylor's lyrics. So not, not a great experience for WordPress out of the box search. All right, I'll pause for a second and just make sure we don't have any questions, Grace. Do we have anything? Not yet. Okay, great. And we should have, let's see, let me refresh this and this should be all set. Yep, we're all set. That should be installed. So we can hop in to our WP admin. And I'll show just quickly, this is while Smart Search uh, was running and installed the plugin and that was part of the process. So this was installed and activated for us. And then just to show what we have installed, we have ACF Pro and then a kind of a custom plugin I wrote to um, capture our post types and post meta that we create with ACF. Uh, but that's it. That's all we have here. Um, so the first thing you really want to do when you have when you enable um, WP Engine Smart Search is to run a sync, which is going to index all your site's content and information. Um, so we can head over here and we'll run a sync. And that's going to go through all the post types and post meta and everything that we need for our users to search. Um, and then I will show the search config, uh, which is probably where you'll spend um, the good majority of your time adjusting settings to your liking as well. Um, the beauty of Smart Search is this, all these options here. I mean, you can granularly set the, the meta information that you wanna search, that you wanna allow to be searched, uh, and you can wait um, any of these items. Uh, you can toggle them on and off if you want them searchable. Um, and I will step through some of the examples of these of these features, but um, just wanted to give you a quick overview. But you can adjust fuzziness. So right now we have it turned to stemming. And stemming is the idea of if you say type in uh, run, but you want your users to see results for maybe running in runner, um, then that would be, that would allow that if we enable stemming. Um, whereas fuzziness is more of a typo sensitive um, case. So let's see, yeah, if we turn this on. Ah, there we go, I was just hitting, sorry. Um, so yeah, if you enable fuzziness, this is for typo sensitivity, so um, out of the box, it's set to a distance of one. So if somebody typed ran instead of run, it would still return results based on that one letter difference. But if you wanted to increase the difference of, you know, maybe a two letter spread of misspelling, then that's this is where we'd adjust the fuzziness here. I will leave that enabled. Um, for this instance, we don't have any, we're doing albums and songs. So I'm going to just disable all this because we don't need to, we don't have any posts and we don't have any pages. So 
this is nice to have. We can turn that all off. Um, and then album and songs is really where we want to focus. And kind of given our circumstances, we want to search by album title um, and the track listing and lyrics. Lyrics are really the heart of the content for this, this example. So we're going to turn off a lot of these. We're going to turn off post excerpt. Um, we'll leave post name. And then we'll go into songs here. We're going to turn off a lot of this. We don't need the content and we'll leave the title excerpt. Um, disable length and we don't actually have that enabled anymore. Uh, and yeah, that's really the heart of setting this up and I'm going to actually increase the weight for lyrics because that's kind of the heart of our content. So we'll give that a little more weight for our search results. I'm going to save that. And now we can see, start to see how smart search gives better results out of the box. So let's start with, um, We'll do, sorry, I got to move my zoom bar around again. We're going to start with running. And if we click into some of these items, I'm just going to open them up in a new tab. And we start to look for, yep, we have a match of running in the lyrics here. So we're actually getting relevant results. Uh, another case of running and running and and another case when we first started out when before we enabled uh, smart search we were testing scarf again we start to get see a lot of results scarf did we get a hit on there Oh, I'm not seeing it actually. It might be a, uh, since we have fuzziness enabled, it could be what? Something else in the lyrics um, that is off by a letter. Um, so we can go back it's here. It's scars. Scars, good catch. Thank you. Yep, here's scarf on this one. So we start to see some real results just by smart search being able to search po ACF post meta, which is critical to this site and a lot of sites that use ACF. Um, not only that though, but we can start using um, operators like and or greater than and less than. So let's go for scarf and red. And we can get really start to get some real uh, explicit results. So if we can search for their scarf and we can search for red, whoops, there we go, we get that. So this is returning results for both of those keywords because we explicitly stated that. So we'll close that one out, go back and let's try an or. So we can do, how about, warning or brittle and that gets uh gets a few results because uh again yeah we're being quite explicit with these uh search queries but that's the the beauty of uh smart search so we can say what was it warning yep is brittle on here probably not nope but I think it's in, is it brittle in here? Yep, brittle's in here, which is nice. And warning um, is not. So we're getting results for whether the word is warning or brittle in our query. Um, and then you can also use the not operator. So you could say scarf not red. And we get less results because of how explicit we're being. So scarf, yep, oh, we're getting scars, which is fine because we have uh, fuzziness enabled. 
So that's expected. And we're getting scars instead of a uh, scarf and because it's off by one letter. Um, so yeah, so that's the not operator. Um, and then also to show um, kind of a common misspelling, let's see, did we have actually an example of misspelling? I guess we could use, well, we showed scar scars and scarfs. <laughs> so that was a good one. Um, but heck, I guess we could do, I don't know, like going for red, but rud, um, we still get some results. And I'm sure that's a pretty common one. We have red here and several, it's a really popular word with Taylor. <laughs> Speak now, yeah, this probably got red as well. Nope, nope, we're probably getting, oh yeah, we actually got rud because rudely, R-U-D, which is great because we want to get some results and nothing which WordPress would have given us, nothing. Um, so type typo sensitivity uh, with fuzziness is amazing. So that's like, you know, that is that alone out of the box is a huge um, feature add. So, so checking out the weighting, if we go back here into our can search config, um, we can start to wait, we can experiment if we wanted to decrease the weight of lyrics and increase the weight of say, um, did we do, let's see, weight album of us, uh, yeah. So I think we do, yeah, we'll turn that up for the name and actually we'll turn this up for the title as well and save that. And now since we have, um, I'm going to hop back over here and go back. And if we search for red, because that's an album and um, song and lots of songs with the lyric in it, um, I think, oh, yeah. The album is coming up at the top hit. Oh, this one probably has, it's probably a frequency as well. So this probably has um, the read throughout the lyrics. Yeah, so that's a frequency amount. So that's showing up um, right next to album in the results. But as we can see, we changed the weighting and we're getting um, the album now is more relevancy uh, without the frequency obviously coming into factor, but that comes up near the top as well. So that's an example of how you can use the weighting um stemming we can show let's see let's save let's enable that and then we'll leave the settings here and i think if we do yeah we can stick with the run um we should be getting probably results for running oh this one gets run so that's not the best example Yep, I forget which one. I forgot which one had running in it. Maybe it was sweet nothing. Yeah, so we're getting results for running as well with the stemming enabled, um, which is great because we want to allow some uh, results to be returned if a user is just searching for run and they could get running or runner. Um, so that's an example of stemming. Um, and I'm actually going to pause as I kind of went through that pretty quickly and just see if we have any questions coming out. Let's mm -hmm. see. So our, our main question is, um, yes, it will work for, um, non ACF post meta fields. Um, and a lot of, um, specific feature questions, um, and as Luke has kind of said in the chat, um, there's a lot more features on the roadmap for this product. Um, it has mm. just been released. And so we're still working on everything and definitely appreciate all of the ideas. Yeah, 
I know that it's been, I don't know if um, maybe Luke already mentioned the, the, the idea of, you know, searching for kind of uh, media is, is nice that that's on the roadmap. I know, um, you know, maybe you're returning like all PDFs and file names, um, you know, stuff like that. Those are all definitely on the roadmap. Um, and those are critical to getting results for, for, for search users. Um, so that's a wonderful feature that I know the team is working on. So, um, okay. So one last thing, just to show how easy it is besides just enabling the actual add-on in the portal. Um, if you're running a block theme, really all you have to do to get the search going is, is drop the search block into your site. So I'm actually going to show I have, let's see, a template part already created. It's called header with a search, but it doesn't have search in it yet. And I want to have this on certain templates because there is no search on the page unless I include it. And, you know, if somebody ends up on, you know, an album page, I would like them to still be able to search from there. So if we go into the site editor here and navigate down into our navigation, and I'm going to add before. I'm just going to add uh, WordPress's default search because um, WP Engine Smart Search just really just takes over what uh, WordPress's native search and just starts returning results based on that. Um, we're going to turn off the label just to give it a different appearance here. And I think, yeah, we'll turn on the icon and then we want button only for ours so that it's just a button and it expands. And I think we'll set this to fill. Yeah. And if we just go ahead and save that. And I've already added this uh, to, yeah, it's saved. Okay. I just had to move zoom bar again. So if we go back here and look at our templates and say, I think we have the archives for album. Yep. And we already had this this header part uh, assigned, so now we're seeing that I, the icon start showing up. And if we go back to the front end, we can start to see how this is showing up. So if I go into albums, there it is. And if we expand, now we have a search um, available on our albums page, so we can search for uh, scarf and red. And we start to get the, um, I'm getting a little bit different results because we uh, changed the weighting of the album to the lyrics, but we're still getting results, which is great and ideal. Um, and then we start to see, yeah, this how easy it is to drop the, the search block in and get uh, WPNs and smart search throughout your site, which is awesome. And let's see. Did we have any other? Oh yeah, the not. We don't don't have any numbers, so we can't really do the uh, greater than or less than. But um, yeah, warning or red. Yep, and we start to see search for red. No, nope. oh yeah, there it is. Oh no, did I get it? No. Yeah, incred. Incredible. We're getting a hit for that. There's warning in here. Can't see because my zoom bar is blocking everything. <laughs> um, no, it looks like it's just red for that result. But hopefully you're starting to see the impact that WP Engine Smart Search offers out of the box and the typo sensitivity alone is just an amazing feature. If somebody goes and types RUD in WordPress default search, they'll get zero results. Um, heck, in uh, out of the box, typing RED was getting zero results to begin with because it wasn't searching the lyrics, the post meta. So that's uh, amazing. And I 
I'm going to leave it at that for a second. I see Luke answering some questions, custom waiting options. Ah, that's a great question. I did not. Yeah, you can do that, Luke says. So, yeah, the question is, I'll just uh, show the screen real quick so we can share that with other people. Um, can you register custom options in here? And Luke said that's a that's possible in the UI. Um, that could be convenient. And I'm trying to think, I don't know, Luke, do you have an example or maybe um, Chad of what that that option, what what that need? Oh, events CPT and wanted more recent events to rank higher than older events. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I, I thought you were talking about just waiting, but yes you can have uh order by uh, that's available via the api and so okay. kind of the way our features work is they kind of start in the api then they make their way to the ui so that one's coming right. soon but um yeah the order by date or by recency is is available via api today um what benefit is this over other search plugins like relevancy and acf better search um the speed is definitely going to be i think the the a big thing um because really smart search is indexing your site but it's offloading at that index so um it's not relying on your database right and i'll have to to rely on Luke to, to verify that. But I mean, that's one of the definitely the impacts I think is offloading that index. Um, and the, the relevancy of the, the results that are returned, the weighting and stemming and fuzziness. Yeah. And the benefits though. Yeah. Will it work with multi-site Luke? Do you have the answer to that? I think so. I'm... The like the oh. the straight up answer is yes. We have kind of a gross workaround to get it to work for a multi site right now. Mm -hmm. um, so working on making that a little easier. But yes, it is possible. The workaround basically is when you provision um, Smart Search for an install, it's going to auto populate a token and URL for you. And you can see that in the um, settings right there. And so obviously with the multi-site, it's just going to be on one install. But every site within that multi-site is going to need a unique key in URL. And so the gross part about it is you're going to have to create some dummy installs and install mm -hmm. Smart Search on them and then grab those unique URLs and tokens and put them into the plugins in the multi-site. Multi once you do that, it works, but it's kind of a gross, it's a gross right. workaround, but we're going to making that a little bit easier for y'all. That's great. Great to hear it's on the roadmap. Will it identify any post, post type or just those created with ACF? I believe it would. Yeah, it should uh, pick up any post type. Um, yeah. And we can actually show I know um, Luke has to drop, but we can show, uh, let's see, I wanted to show, we'll add a field group. And I had had this in prior, so I think we still have the data available, but if we go into our field group, which is associated with our albums custom post type here, if I go into that, and I'm gonna add a field for a label, like what, the al what album the label was released on, so. Um, we can create that here and it's just going to be a text field. Save that. And now if we go to our albums, yeah, I had previously associated. So, but the field does show up now it's there, it's available. And if we go, yeah, we already have some information associated with it. We can update that. So let's just modify this for fun. We'll call this, um, I'm gonna go with purple as the new label. <laughs> we'll save that, we'll update this album. And if we go back and we'll see, I wanted to show the search config real quick because we should see the 
label. Yep, the label is being output now. It's added into our configuration for us. And so we can leave that as is. I don't even have to, what? no, I don't have to save. And then if we go back and we search for purple because that, I believe that data was already indexed. Yeah, um, we should see down here. Yeah, the label is purple. Um, I think the only other labels that we had associated were Republic. That's her current label that she's releasing through. Ah, did I miss? Oh, maybe that wasn't. Hmm. Let me make sure that I'm getting that right because we should have that available. Albums, Republic. And big machine, yeah. That information should be indexed already, I believe, right, Luke? Yeah, if it was there, yeah. Let's save this one and see. Yep. Update. After your first sync, your index should stay up to date automatically. Yeah. So let's try that again. Republic. There we go. Yeah, I had to just resave that because it wasn't saved to that uh, album post. So we get, yeah, we start to see results for at, right when we add our new meta information, which is awesome. Another big, yeah, this is scale, right? Yeah, that's a huge performance impact. Um, the scale of the indexing and how big of an index you can create. Um, that is another factor of, of how, you know, this comp uh, WP Engine Smart Search compares to something like um, the ACF uh, Better Search or Relevancy. Any other questions? Because I think that is just about all we have today. I want to show, share this as well. We have the demo site is publicly available. The code base um, is publicly available. It has the, the custom plugin and the theme in it. And all the WP Engine Smart Search documentation is available. Um, Can we clone this demo site to a dev environment so we can play with it? Hmm, I don't know if that would be possible. I can try to investigate that. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> um, I would be happy to share um, a database uh, dump with somebody. If you want to hit me up, uh, D Cook on Twitter or X, <laughs> as it's known these days, um, I would be happy to yeah get you a database dump. That might be um, an easy way to do it. And you can even uh, run it probably on your local. I did a lot of testing as well. So, um, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for Grace and... Luke for joining us. Um, that's all we have today. And this recording will be up on the WP Engine Builders. So check it out if you want to come back and revisit any of this information. That's all I have. Grace, did you have anything else? Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Go check out the Eras Tour and theaters. <laughs>